Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about recovering Excel files that might not have been saved. So in between your saves, there might be an auto save in there. The Excel application had an unexpected error, closed out, whatnot. I'm going to show you guys how to recover those lost files. And it should be able to work for a good number of you guys. So hopefully we're going to find some success here. And we're going to go and jump right into it. So you want to go ahead and start by opening up the file tab up at the top left. Select the option to the bottom of this horizontal bar here. Select the save option. And there should be something here that says auto recover file location. And this will be the auto recovery location we're going to navigate to. So if you have file explorer down here on your taskbar. So if you hover over it, it should say file explorer. Just open it up. Otherwise, search for it in the start menu. And now we're just going to navigate over to this location. So we're going to select this PC on the left side. And you can see it's on the C drive. So I'm going to double click on my C drive here. I'm going to go underneath users. I'm just basically following along with the path here. If you see a folder is not visible, select the view tab. And then select hidden items. And that should unhide any folders that were previously unviewable. So click on that. I'm going to select Roaming, Microsoft, and Excel. Might be a little bit different in your case though, so just keep that in mind. You see there's a folder right here. It might be multiple folders, but you want to probably select the most recently opened folder, I'd say. So most recently created or modified folder. So double click on that. And now you can see there's an Excel file in here. It should say auto saved in the name of the file. So go ahead and double click on that. And there you go. It should open up an auto saved folder in here. So just give it a moment here. And there you go. It should automatically be saved and open up. So I'd recommend clicking on file and then save as and then save it to a nice spot on your computer. So if you need to delete over the old copy, you can, but I'd recommend saving it immediately somewhere like your desktop document folder it doesn't really matter. But I just wanted to show you guys that now you have a new file here, so you might want to write over the original file, which is this one right here. Whatever you want to do is fine with me. I don't really care, but I just want to show you guys where your auto-saved files go. So pretty straightforward process. Do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.